Hey guys, it's Hacky Four Weeks here, and today I'm gonna be showing you guys um, a new or my I don't know if it's it's been thought of yet or it's been released yet, but it's a tethering. It's tethering for your Droid Max or Ultra Droid Ultra Droid Max and Droid Mini. Running on the latest 24.13.3 build and um, Android 4.4.4 KCAT. So, this is the latest one that was updated 2015 this year, just recently, um, which was released Tuesday, August 18th, and it's built SU 6 3.3. I'm 6.7.3, my mistake. I was thinking differently. So, um, if you guys haven't heard of it, there was a hack before on 4.4.4, I think, on one of the old versions, and it was just a simple hack to bypass the, to get your, your hotspot working. So let me show you what you have to do. First, let me show you that when you go into the hotspot, it's going to say checking for subscription status. Um, and it's just gonna say error. So, what I want to do, I'm trying to make this video as quick as possible. So, um, it's gonna get the error. Then, what you do is you go into your. You have to be rooted for this. And so, I'm pretty sure if you guys want the tethering, you need you need to know that you need to root. Um, so you go to setting storage. Then you go to secure. And, oops, let me show you guys exactly where to go. You go to apps. You open SQLite editor, you grant it root access, then you go to settings, secure settings. I think you go to the, you send the S's. So you go to setting, I mean, you go to setting storages with a little thing right here. Then you go to secure. I mean settings db then you go to secure then you zoom in and what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go ahead and change a couple of things so first thing you're going to want to change is you're going to want to change these right here make sure done nat enabled is enabled tether reverse nat enabled right here is also enabled so you may make sure these two are enabled right here then you scroll down till you find entitlement check USB entitlement check right here so all you're gonna want to do is put entitlement check and put zero because the zero means false it's not gonna check for the USB entitlement check and I mean for the entitlement check and you also have USB entitlement check um, I don't really want to use USB tethering so I'm not gonna really change anything on that so just leave it. I want only my Wi-Fi tether. So I'm just going to do entitlement check. Then next thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to scroll down and make sure right here where it says set network settings on boot. You're going to want to leave it. I mean not leave it. Change it from 0 to 1. I just, it's already changed. Make sure it's on 1. So it's network settings on boot and put it to 1, the value. Scroll down. And keep scrolling down until you find these capital letters saying 8 p.m. check state right here. Should be right here. Um, you gotta go ahead and this changes all the time, but when you do this, you put one and you save. It means you're gonna let the 8 p.m. settings 8 p.m. check state is gonna be at one, so you're gonna allow 8 p.m. check state and this allows you to have root I mean your <laughs> what am I saying allows you to have the tether hotspot so before you do anything you have to reboot your phone um, I'm gonna have to continue the video like in a couple minutes to reboot my phone so what you do is you go here um, if you don't have the app already get or just power off and usually just get an app that lets you reboot but I'm gonna reboot from here Okay, I'll get back once I'm done and booted up. 
Okay, so it took me about 10 minutes, almost 10 minutes to reboot my phone. It took a while, so if you guys have that issue, just wait it out and it, it will boot up. If it's taking more than 20 minutes, then just power off your phone and power back on. But once you've done the reboot, it should let you put your hotspot on now. Let's you change everything. And since this is only a temporary tethering hotspot, if you disable it, if you disable your hotspot and you try to re-enable it, it will not work anymore. It will check check for subscription status. So do not disable it unless you are willing to redo the process again. If you guys have any problems, you know where to contact me on the comments. Um, thank you for watching this video. Um, don't forget, you have to do that process every time you turn off your tethering hotspot. Um, once you want to do it again and you power, turn off your hotspot, all you got to do is ch change the AP, APN check state. And you won't have to change anything else but the APN check state and reboot. And then you should be able to turn it on again. Thank you for watching. Um, let me know in the comments if you have any problems. Um, and that's it guys. Thank you for watching.